The fall of Silicon Valley Bank was the second largest financial collapse in history. Founded in 1983, SVB's focus from day one was to serve emerging tech companies. Fast forward to 2022, and half of venture-backed startups in America are banking with SVB. Because of a surge in tech investing during the pandemic, SVB's deposits surged to $189 billion. In just two years, SVB decided to invest it in long-term securities like government bonds. But then something happened. The Fed raised interest rates. And when interest rates go up, bond prices fall. This meant that the value of SVB's investments plummeted. To generate emergency cash, SVB sold over $20 billion worth of short-term investments at a $1.8 billion loss. This is what first spooked investors and sent the stock into a free fall. Thousands of customers ignited a bank run that saw them all trying to take their money out of SVB at the same time. U.S. regulators took control of SVB, guaranteeing that all depositors will get their money back.